Okay, what's up guys? We're going to do another unboxing here. We have a small shipment of reptiles and then we have a couple boxes of fish as well. Um, mostly top up animals, nothing too crazy, but I'll show you what we got. Getting good now, I didn't laugh for 45 minutes. I know. You're only 25 seconds in and you got a straight face. Okay, a bunch of those Pac-Man frogs at the top here. These are... Jesus, they sent me a lot. I don't know if you I think these are the albino strawberry pineapple. Sweet cricket in there. This is what they're calling an albino sunkist. I think five types of albinos. Yeah. More pack hands here. This one's got a lot more yellow on it. Another nicer one of the strawberries. Let's try and jump out. And one free cricket with each Pac Man. That's how you make your money. This is dirt. I see him. Oh, it's a Pac Man. Okay. <laughs> Pick up a dirt. You see this one? Where'd they put all the lizards? <laughs> they sent me 45 Pac-Man frogs and nothing else. Lots of Pac-Man. This is a bicolor Halloween milk tank. Pretty nice. box looks like it's mainly Pac-Man, so I'm guessing they packed the rest of the stuff with the fish, so we'll take a look. Oh. Normally they separate everything, but we'll see. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't find the Lacertas because they didn't send them, so we'll just unbox the fish then. A whole box of pack. We have some fish here as well. Huge. So these are the yellow clams. We got a couple freshwater clams. People's tanks. And then these are the pink clams. They're way bigger. Um, do, I, do you have like more information we can do about them again, like you did before, like locations and a little bit? No, I know nothing about these clams. <laughs> <laughs> the clams. <Okay. laughs> this is for its ones I ordered here. Polypterus and Dicleri. These are Congo River fish. Uh, very small ones. They'll get around 20 inches long. And they are considered a predatory fish. They will try and eat anything that can fit in their mouth. And I've seen them try and eat things that don't fit in their mouth as well. The 
these are pineapple swordtails. Some will get more orange as they get larger. These are cool. They don't aren't showing much of their color yet, but these are actually garamis. They're pygmy garamis. They only get about an inch and a half long. Same care as any other garami, but kind of scaled down. So some of the bigger ones in here are adults. And then once they settle in, they'll start to develop a lot of their color. These are the red spotted narrate snails. The nice thing about these is they will still eat a little bit of algae, but their eggs won't hatch in fresh water. It does require brackish water for them to actually hatch, so they won't overpopulate your tank. They all have kind of different markings. These are, it's kind of hard to see because it's double bagged, but these are zebra narrate snails. Same thing with the other ones, they won't populate in fresh water. And they'll get about an inch and a half long. The last of the snails here, these are gold spot postal snails, or rabbit snails. Uh, so they'll have a black body with all these little micro gold spots on. These are about as big as they get. You will get them sometimes a little bit bigger than this, but not overly large. These are all African dwarf frogs. We haven't had these guys in a little while. They've been a little hard to get for whatever reason. Uh, they do well in like a small planted tank. You do see them sold in really small containers, but they should be in something like a five gallon. And the last thing here are black sword tails. It actually came in a lot nicer than I was expecting. So they have all kind of these blue and green metallic scales on them. And some of them are darker than others. You can see one there is really light, it's almost white. Those are probably the best looking swords we have right now, actually. And that's everything for this shipment. It was a smaller one, uh, but we will have a few other videos coming. We're gonna, gonna do a store tour video, kind of show some of the changes that are coming up. Uh, some of the changes that we're doing to the fish room as well as to the front of the store. So there's a lot more planned. And then near the end of the month, we'll have a a video coming out after the expo just showing us vending there maybe talking to some of the vendors going around just showing you everything that goes on there uh, but until next time lost my train of thought <laughs>